Yo, what is up guys? Famous Streamer here. Today I'm going to be unveiling the ancient alien tech for tanking. If you're a DPS, you could still be tanking, like many of these people. First of all, before you become a pumper, I'm going to have to start off with an explanation how a thread works. This is based on personal discovery and calculations, because Big Bezos won't tell us. You don't need to taunt anything to generate thread. All you have to do is swing your sword one or two times and block based on the type of mob that you're fighting. Weirdly, this doesn't work on greens, even though they behave like an elite pack of lemmings, but let's not get sidetracked. So while blocking does generate threat, it doesn't generate threat on its own. So you have to hit block or hit hit block. And if you're underneath the giant bear, you're gonna have to stab because apparently your arms are not long enough to reach him. The way that the taunt ability works is it serves as a six second debuff, which forces the aggro on you. So uh, pretty much it's an oh shit button or a button to AV aggro things. However, maintaining the aggro has to do more so with how much damage you're putting out and how much you're blocking rather than how many abilities you're using. Nobody actually knows how taunt works, so moving on. Holding right click the entire time pulls out your shield faster than clicking it. Uh, it actually doesn't, but you can't mess it up, so it technically does. I don't know, it's kind of weird. If you're holding it, it's not gonna hurt. Number 13, the Burger King Foot Lettuce. For your gear, you're gonna be running all heavy, tower shield, sword, uh, and a hammer, or a great axe. For open world PvP, I prefer to take off the sword and shield and just play great axe hammer since people don't actually hit you if you have a shield on. And please, take off that ugly looking helmet and let the hair run through the wind. There's actually a variety of different statted gear that you can find with different armor and elemental ratings, so you're gonna look at that and uh, take into consideration how much strength and con they give, obviously what perks there are on them, and I think the most important one is the tower shield, because there are shields that are tower shields, but they're barely stat-wise passing as a tower shield, if that makes sense. So uh, just make sure you're on the lookout for more so high roll items. At level 60, you're obviously going to be doing a quest for Twilight's Fall and Brook's Defense, so that's going to solve a lot of those issues. Uh, for those that don't know, it's the 580 sword and the 580 shield. For attributes, I go 300 con and the rest goes into strength. Uh, this is this way you can get the 300 con bonus for stun duration. Uh, I wouldn't worry about being exactly at 300 strength because chances are you're probably going to be eating con food. Uh, so out of the things that I recommend, uh, stuffed calamari is a very good one. It's very simple to craft given you have the recipe. Or you know, you can always just mooch it off somebody. Sword and shield spec, I like to go Swordmaster because once you get to late game pumper levels of DPS, the 10% makes a huge difference. Uh, not to mention that it doesn't have range. Much as I love the, the offensive stance, it kind of sucks because it's only 2 meters, chances are you're not going to be next to melee DPS, and also it doesn't apply on yourself. So the only thing a defender's tree that are really good are the passives. However, if you sacrifice a little bit of points in stun duration, uh, threat generation and the health regen, because chances are you're going to be running around with a healer. You can kind of make it work, and the only thing that I wish I could grab from the defender's tree is the stamina damage reduction on range attacks, but I can live without it. For Warhammer specs, I like to go Big Daddy Slam Crowd Crusher spec. Uh, and even though this doesn't do a whole lot of damage, it's actually pretty good for wars and PvE content. You can lock somebody down for like 6 seconds running 300 con. This synergizes really well with going uh, Reaper for open world PvP. I think I have Insatiable Gravity while well on one of the pieces of the gear. Uh, but basically you just go Reaper for Bloodlust and uh, Charge. So you can stay mobile and you can kind of like chase people around. Uh, it's literally just for open world PvP content, but I mean, Axe is not terrible whenever you're PvEing, so you can, you can pump a little bit of damage. For the stones and the gear, I like to put diamonds and everything because Void Bent has a very high elemental rating, so hopefully it kind of balances things out, but I'm probably going to change a lot of this stuff when better jewelry comes around. For the weapons, obviously you're going to have to put up with having a Carnelian in one of your weapons, but uh, for the hammer, I think Gruul is pretty good since you do have a lot of CC, and uh, for the axe I just put, uh, put an opal in. For gear piece uh, specific abilities, I would experiment with things like Insatiable Gravity Well, Thundering Shockwave. Uh, personally, I'm addicted to a lot of empowers on block or crit, like uh, haste and uh, 
and damage amps or uh, fortifying. So I can pump harder and faster. Also healers heal you more based off of how many buffs you have on your bar. All right, I think I got it all. Uh, don't want to make this too boring and tedious. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask those in the comments or you can just go to my stream and ask there. But I hope to see everybody juicing uh, and uh, thank you all for watching and have a good day. Peace.